Hi you guys, welcome to the Plus Side, it's your girl AJ Marie. Today is going to be like a really fun video because today I will be playing with makeup which is my favorite thing to do. So this was actually a requested video from one of my subscribers, aka my new friends, hey girl, why well, I need to be neat. She wanted me to play around with this Urban Decay eyeshadow in the Color Lounge. Y'all remember this? I got this in my Ipsy bag. She said, girl, can you uh, test out that eyeshadow, play with it? And I was like, sure, girl, no problem. So today I am going to be doing a really fun look with this eyeshadow. So if you want to see what kind of look I come up with, stay tuned to this video. I'm super casual right now. I have on my Roman Reigns Empire shirt for my followers to know about wrestling. It's an awesome pay-per-view last night, by the way. So, anyway, <laughs> it's just me and you. I could be casual, right? It's just us, right? Okay. So, before I do the eyeshadow, which is the focus, I am going to do my foundation. I am going to do a little bit of contouring, a little bit of blush, all that good stuff. I just wanted you guys to know what I use because the focus is on the eyeshadow, not the foundation. But if you want to know my foundation routine, let me know. Okay? Love requests. I do them. See? Um, <laughs> so, for my foundation, I'll be using the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour. I actually got a darker color. If y'all remember, if y'all watched my videos, I did like a testing product type situation. I had this foundation before, but I got it too light. I still own it. I keep buying foundations, so I actually bought a darker color, and hopefully this works. This is the color 320, and this actually has SPF 20, which the lighter color had SPF 15. So, I'm using that for my foundation I'm also just sticking with what I've been using my Maybelline fit me setting powder um, I'm using the rest of my step one for <laughs> my step one makeup forever primer I love this stuff I need to buy it and for my eyebrows I'll be using the Anastasia brow is in medium brown y'all I love this thing it's like simple but at the same time I understand why people love it so much because it just gives you that natural feeling you know what I mean so that's what I'll be using for my face and everything and I'll just be using my wet n wild compacts for my contour and highlight and blushes and all that stuff and then we'll get into the eye look so I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm using how I'm using it and I'll be right back so we can get into this eyeshadow. So, okay. apply the foundation, got my highlight going on, just a little bronzing, eyebrows, everything. Okay, and now we're about to get into the part y'all been waiting for, which is the eyeshadow. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. So, first I'm using this Pro Fusion palette. It has so many different colors on it. And you'll be surprised to know I'm just using the basic colors but I just wanted to show you the entire palette it just says number five item number B-460 it doesn't have a name on it but yeah I'll be using this of course I'll be using the Urban Decay dual chrome eyeshadow that I got my Ipsy bag in the color lounge I'll be using the scandalize for my eyeshadow I'll also be using this little BB Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Um, these are actually pretty good. They're only a dollar. I'll also be using this. My four favorite brushes to do my eyeshadows with. Um, the Luxie 233. I use this all the time. My Glamour Dolls number 10 brush. Love this brush. The elf eyeshadow c brush another favorite and um i just got this one this is a elf elf eyeshadow blending brush i just got this one so one more thing the creme gel liner the cream gel liner and swerve i'm actually using these two products i also got this in the ipsy bag even though i do own one but this one i got in my ipsy bag so that's what i'll be using for my eye look today so let's get so into let's get into the eye, eye look first of all i did prime my eyes i used my cover girl ready set gorgeous concealer that i use also in my under eye to brighten it up i'm also using it for my primer for my eyeshadow 
So first, what I'm going to use, by the way, I do my eyeshadows backwards, so don't make fun of me, okay? But <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. If you watch other makeup videos, you'll see how backwards it is. But first, I'll be using this shade right here. Like I said, they don't have any names, so I'm using this first. And I'll be using it on half of my eyelid. I'll be doing that with my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush here. It's so hard, didn't it? Good angle? Good angle. Okay. And I will be bringing that all the way up here. But I'll only be doing it halfway on my lid. See? Halfway. And I'll even be bringing it down here into my little curve right here because it kind of looks like a half moon and I kind of like that. So I'm going to actually bring it all the way down here as well. Down to my inner corner. And over and out here. In my crease. Everywhere. Okay. So, see how that's just half of my lid? Now I'm going to take this little baby here and actually add to the white that I already have. It makes it even whiter because I just want that side to be bright. So, I'm going to use this. It's called Sugar. Only a dollar. Wet and Wild. And I'm going to put that right over top of the profusions white just to bring it out more and it's very it's like a sparkly kind of color so i really love it and bring that down here and up and over I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys you know what i mean let me see Maybe it'll be better on the other, the other eye. Mm. So that's what I have so far. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And honestly, I think if I had a better quality eyeshadow, maybe it would show up more. But I don't have it in this color. So like I said, I'm just going to take the white and put it halfway on my lid even down to my inner corner and even up through my crease up here halfway it's like a really nice um sparkly white and i really like it especially with that dual chrome it's really pretty i have the biggest eyeballs <laughs> in the world have y'all been catching up on Orange is the New Black because I haven't even watched it yet and people are trying to like talk about it with me and I'm like no okay so we got the white halfway on both lids as you can see now I am going to do the fun part which is the Urban Decay Lounge <laughs> use that. this color is so freaking pretty by the way if you were interested in purchasing it it costs $18 for a single eyeshadow. They have more dual chrome eyeshadows that I saw. And I'm really thinking about getting just the four dual chrome ones because they're so freaking pretty. <clears throat> My clean is brush off a little bit. I need to get like one of those cleaners those little sponges you can get from the freaking store freaking um <clears throat> craft store anyway so this is my little my little pan i definitely want to get more of this man i got to 18 dollars eh, and it's kind of steep but mm, it's life 
you know we know if we want good product quality good quality products we have to so now more. what i'm gonna do is put the urban decay lounge on the other half of my lid here just like i did with the white i'm putting it all up in the crease as well and even it and even taking it over to the white but only halfway because i want to create like a blend First of all, in case you wanted more details on the eyeshadow, it is smooth as a baby's bottom. It blends really well. It's a really pretty dual chrome. And like I said, I believe they have like four other colors as well. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm blending it in the middle right here and I'm even taking over a little bit into the white here it's so hard to do this I don't know how to do it <laughs> and I'm bringing it up over as well and just I'll blend that out later I really wanted to like put this like as much on the lid as possible because it's just a beautiful color <clears throat> and I'm doing the same over here halfway on my lid taking it over a little into the white but just only a little bit I'm listening to um, Ed Sheeran I love him. Ed Sheeran. Oh. Beautiful redhead man. I listen to every type of music there is. Like, seriously. I love this color so pretty much, y'all. Okay, now what I'm oh. going to do is actually use my Glamour Dolls Blending brush eyeshadow blending brush and just take away all the harsh lines in between the white and the urban decay lounge and just erase those hard lines basically by blending 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 and this is actually really this eyeshadow is really easy to blend and I'm just going all the way around and just blending it all the way around here My inner corner, right here, in the middle especially. Want the blend to look seamless, honey. Blending it all here. I think this look is really simple and really nice. Just jazz up your life, man. <laughs> with these ty type of dual chrome I think they're so fun and I think you could dress them up or dress them down you know what I mean meaning you can wear them on a night out or you can just wear them on like a day with your family it's a little dramatic but hey who doesn't need a little drama in their life I don't understand maybe that's the case now me. I am going to blend out this is where the backwards comes from because sometimes people put their transition shades on first and then blend the eyeshadows with it like me <laughs> no why um so once we get this open again I'm going to take this color right here, right here, and use that as my transition shade. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Elf blend Blending Brush. I hope this works because it's my first time using it. 
and I'm gonna go over top of what I just did with the white and the dual chrome and place that right over top right here and blend out the eyeshadows even more with that kind of burnt orangey yeah I would say so and just blend the eyeshadow out here all around the top area and this brush actually works really good it's doing what it's supposed to do did it too far <laughs> don't go too far because you want that white to be out so just keep it on top just keep it on top of the eyeshadow like so and just blend 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 to all the harsh lines okie dokie so now I'm actually going to take my Luxie 223 brush and go right here under the eye with the color lounge again because I love it so much. I'm dropping this little thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna go underneath and this is this brush is so nice for just going underneath of your lower lash so that's what I'm going to do right here and just give you more mm -hmm. Now that that is all said and done, I will be using my ColourPop eyeliner in the color Swerve, and I'll be putting it in my waterline because I want to kind of make sure that this eyeshadow is just pow, and plus I won't be using any lashes. I'm going to use my Swerve liner just to give it a more like dangerous, sultry look with the black in my waterline. Be careful with this thing because I already broke it again. I broke my last one. I like to break eyeliners for some reason. And I'm just going to take it. See and put it right in the waterline here. Take so much concentration. I want to be all like forehead the whole entire video. But if I poke myself in the eye, you know. We can't see nothing. <laughs> but yeah. So, um. I'll do that with the other eye now. You know what I really love about this? Um. Hey, man, let me do it for What I really like talk. about this eyeshadow is that it's really black. And even on the waterline, sometimes when you use a pencil in your waterline, it kind of fades out because of your eyes getting watery and whatever the case may be. But this actually is really black, and I really love it. So, yeah. So, like I said, we won't be using any eyeliner because I just want to make sure, you know, you guys see the eyeshadow. This is the look without my mascara. So, now that the waterline is done, I'm actually going to be adding the cherry on the top to this look. My eye look is pretty much done. Now, I'm going to take this color right here. I told you guys, all these colors in this palette, and I'm using the most <laughs> neutral ones. <laughs> I'm going to take it and actually highlight under my brow. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's really soft and pretty and shimmery and I just love the shade so much. I wish these colors had shades. Like a lot of Profusion's palette have really amazing colors in them. And I have two palettes from Profusion and honestly there's like certain colors that I'm in love with and I wish they sold them separately. But maybe they have them on the website. I never go on the website. This was a gift, and the other one I got, I got from Five and Below. I haven't seen single eyeshadows, but maybe I should just look online. So, yeah, it's a very subtle highlight right under the eyebrow, and I'll do the same on the other side. And I'm just doing a circular motion so I can blend them out with the other eyeshadows down below. Kind of get that gradual fade situation going on. That highlight though. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. So now just to top everything off, I'll be using my new favorite eye, eye mascara, which is the Scandalize Curve Alert Mascara. I really like this. It just, you know, it gives me that full volume. And be careful, I don't want this to go in. You or me don't want this to go in our eyeshadow. But you see what I mean? Like, look how that fans out. Like, oh, Love it. And it's like that blacky black that I like. <laughs> that blacky black. Ooh, yes, honey. <clears throat> yes. And like, if you go out, you can add lashes to make it just even more... <laughs> And do like a really thin line of eyeliner, but but since I'm just you know chilling today, I didn't want to put like a mascara. I wanted to keep it kind of like dramatic, but like simple. So I just did my own lashes, which are nice enough. So I hope you guys opinion. really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I love playing in makeup. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I hope y'all enjoyed this look, cause I'm feeling it, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot to tell you, but I also added the Scandalize Mascara on my bottom lash just to make it more black and pow. Because, you know, when you put your eyeshadow on, sometimes it gets on your bottom lashes. So, you got to add a coat of this just to make it more pow. I also added one of my new favorite lip glosses. We did swatches of these on Wednesday. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. This is the color Caramel that I'm wearing currently. I really wanted to do kind of that nudie but more pinky tone. I really love these. They smell terrific. They have this nice gradual like fading situation. Um, it lasts you pretty long. You know what I mean? But when you eat and drink... Instead of just wiping completely off, it has like a nice gradual fade and will last you the rest of the day. So, I'm really I hope you guys really I enjoyed this video. Um, this was actually a request. So, if you have any requests, let me know. Like, comment below. Tell me, girl, can you do this? Or, girl, can you show me this? And I'll be like, yes, girl, no problem. I'm up for the challenge. It's so much fun. I love communicating with you guys. So, you can also connect with me on my Instagram at welcome to the plus side, my Twitter welcome TTPS, or even my Snapchat at Phila Jones. So odd, but P H L A Jones. I'll put all of it below. Um, if y'all ever wondering why I don't link stuff, because I don't know how to link it, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'll put all my names and everything, all my ads down below. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. If you're new to this channel and you like this video, please like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. I do videos every Wednesday and Friday. And yeah, say what's up. Say hi, you know. View more videos from me, you know. Love you guys. Um, and I will see y'all next week for some more amazing videos. And I love you guys. Bye.